23. In our quest to establish the volume of traffic on our major roads, we have arrived quite late at Chirundu border post, and it is 23, 20 hours here, and the traffic is still building up, and if you look behind me, there are a lot of trucks still building up, observing that this border operates 24 hours. The Zambia Revenue Authority, ZRA, puts Achirundu as the third largest border crossing point for transit vehicles. In fact, the 500 are for Nakonde. And when you look at, say, Kasumbalesa, of course, most of the transits are destined for um, the DRC. For Kasumbalesa, you're looking at an average of 800 trucks per day. Uh, when you look at Katima, Murilo or Katima, on average per day, we're looking at, uh, at, at a total number of 40 trucks per day. If you look at Chirundu, Chirundu has been doing well. Um, it's one of those uh, big entry and exit points for, uh, for Zambia. So you're looking at, at an average of 242 trucks per day. Another border that operates at 24 hours is the Nakonde border post. For the Zambia Revenue Authority, these trucks mean more revenue for the country. In terms of uh, revenue collection, uh, we've been doing quite well in terms of, uh, you know, if I have to look at the main borders, uh, Nakonde, um, Katimamuriro, uh, Chirundu, and Kasumbalesa. If you, if you look at Nakonde, for example, um, on average per month, uh, we're able to collect about 294 million, uh, which is uh, a very good amount. If I have to pick on the factor of infrastructure at Katima, once uh, rehabilitated and, and trucks being able to move, you know, using that route, we'll be able to collect more. So on average per month, we are only collecting about 81 uh, million. Chirundi is one of our biggest uh, entry and exit points, so we were able to collect a lot of revenue from um, uh, Chirundi. On, on average, we, per month, we collect about 339 million. Um, so Kasumbalesa, we, in as much as the traffic is, is uh, the traffic volumes are high at that uh, entry point, entry and exit point, the revenues um, per month only average about 21 million. Um. Okay, mama. Ah, yeah, let's go. Okay, thanks. Another truck cleared, just one of the over 300 cleared here every day destined for the Copper Belt province in the mines, Northwestern province, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Nakonde border is full of activities and business is booming. One thing that must be made known to the members of the public and the government, for instance, is that the traffic on these corridors has increased. If you look at the, the dark corridor previously, this is a corridor which was mainly dominated by Tanzanian trucks. But we, we have a lot of Zambian trucks now going into Tanzania. So the combination of Zambian and Tanzanian trucks has congested the road. So in order for us to have uh, a, a speedy and smooth flow of traffic, the roads must be done properly. You know, we were excited when we heard that the Ndola, Ndola Lusaka road would be dual carriageway. We have been excited. But when is that dual carriageway coming? This marks the end of the Lusaka Ndola dual carriageway. That is 11 kilometers from the Lusaka main post office. From this particular point, it's a single lane, and traffic starts to build from this particular point. The traffic heading out of Lusaka has proved too much for the single lane to handle. Many have restarted their vehicles trying to beat this traffic. If your destination is not Lusaka, you can take the newly built ring road. When you are coming from Kafiwe, uh, getting into Lusaka via Chilanga, um, it's a Linda roundabout there. There's a ring road, uh, very uh, well built to a uh, you know, trunk uh, road uh, class, which can carry even uh, cargo, heavy cargo uh, motor vehicles. All the way to take you from there, you, if you are going to Ndola, you, you exit from six miles roundabout. So this is uh, one way we, we, we are trying to, to, you know, to decongest the roads as well as uh, to improve uh, safety.
As for other towns with no ring roads, the road passes through the central business district and the results are disastrous. Welcome to Ndola, the friendly city, but the road may not be as welcoming as the billboard suggests. This is part of the T3 as you enter the city of Ndola. Here, you need to be an expert in dodging potholes. And if you don't know, wait and learn from experts. In Zambia, they say, min bus drivers can squeeze through the tightest of space, and if you are not a min bus driver, it's better to go back and find a better way through the potholes. But when it is dark and the rains have been pouring, it can be dangerous and tough, as this truck driver found out. Luckily for him, he has got 650 horsepower to power him out of the potholes. But as for this other truck, not even his 500 horsepower can help him. In Kitwe, Trucks are diverted through Central Street and Chiguruma Road. This is what has remained of our Chiguruma Road and Central Street. Elsewhere, between Chingola and Achiriravombwe, traffic is building up because what had remained of the road has been blocked by a truck and a bus. <laughs> We're coming from Kasumbalisa uh, four days ago. So we had floods here. We had, there was rains the time that we were coming. So all the dishes were filled with water. So we didn't know what happened. We just found ourselves hit in the, in the ditch. And we damaged the completer. So right now, as I'm speaking, we're stuck here for more than four days. It doesn't take long before the road is completely blocked. A law that carrying abnormal load has joined in. It has blocked the remaining part of the road. So it gets seated because of the law. This is law bed. Yeah. So if I could get a space, I could pass through that way. But because of the, uh, uh, the, the road itself is very bad, right? Yeah. Is not okay here. For those with emergencies, it's time to engage four-wheel drive and take a risk. We are going to pick vaccines for COVID-19 and also going in the field. With tempers high, it's time to bring in heavy machinery and rescue the situation. With the excavator pushing and the truck pulling, 
The trailer does not move an inch. It looks like it's going to be a long day here. Desperate and out of options, one by one, brave drivers branch their vehicles in the mud and take a risk to cross either side. The state of the roads in Zambia is, is pathetic, very bad. Look at the stretch between Lusaka and Indola. You know, for us in the fuel transport sector, we put uh, safety first. Safety is number one. But unfortunately, uh, our situation is compromised because we are forced to drive on bad roads. We are driving dangerous goods on bad roads. You know, we are spending a lot of time on the road, increasing the fatigue of the drivers. Driving on this road can be tiresome and treacherous. And to deal with the fatigue, one place has become popular with truckers. It is at the lands of a turn off. Here, young men and women have set up a thriving roasted goat meat business, popularly known as Michopo. <laughs> Apanienda kuna mibia, apumulaku apapaka tipaka, paka tano of kujia kutu nyama, as a truck driver, meti vuti kila vija so. Na lodi yatu uchoka kapiri, up to ndola, siri mushe che lodi. Yewe, longe na meshinashi. Apamdati magula tumbuzi, na tumadrinki socha, bena tutomato, pa uti sometimes po endo pikila, washitako, utuntoya nda che ukudi ya pa, pamele unyamoka. Shua pa mdala watu. Ndiye ma problem wa meti facing ama drivers hae. Lodi wa mdala ili haa, ili bad. Ninja anji oke. Okay. Ninja anji chabi lodi. Others call them waves, but the technical term is ratting. Most of the uh, damage uh, to road uh, infrastructure is, is usually sometimes caused by overloading. And that's why you see a lot of ratting uh, on, on the section of uh, the Kasumba Lesa up to Kapiri uh, uh, Road. There are many sections of Fat 3 that have uh, developed ratings, making the road dangerous to drive on, especially at high speed. Driving on sections with ratings can be very uncomfortable. This camera mounted near the wheel shows that the struggle that the vehicle goes through on a road with ratings. I am not an expert in vehicle mechanics, but it's easy to see that shocks are working overtime. Overloaded trucks are mainly responsible for this development. On the T3, abnormal trucks are not a rare sight. The Road Development Agency is responsible for regulation of such loads on the Zambian roads. Under the Axle Load Control uh, Unit, under the Department of uh, Commercial and Technical Services uh, of the Road Development Agency, we have put up uh, fixed uh, way bridges uh, across the country. These uh, um, way bridges uh, are there to ensure that um, whatever traffic is moving on our roads is, uh, is regulated or is monitored. Anything above 6.5 tons uh, has to go through a, a stationary way bridge. Out of the way bridge, the officers weigh each axle to make sure the weight is within permissible load. The Kapirimponshi way bridge is like a production unit with the two inputs, one from the southern part of Zambia, that is Katimamuriro and Chirundu border, the other from the northern part of Zambia, that is Nakonde. After the processing at the web bridge, one stream of trucks comes out, headed for the mines on the Copper Belt and Northwestern Province, as well as the Democratic Republic of Congo. Just after the web bridge, a trail of a distance and truck has snapped. The driver, however, blames at the pothole and not the overloading. Garage overload. Gari imekuja hapa kwenye nani hapa kwenye hizi drift imekatika. Sasa hapa uwezi tembea. 
Unaona? Kwa hiyo gari yani imekatika. Okay. Sio kwamba labda ime overload. No. Haija no. overload. No. Na kartasi ya webridge hapa. The T3 is no stranger to potholes. There was a potholes here, I went here. Potholes here. So go look, go look here, very waste. I'm going to go to Munch here. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. Road is uncomfortable. So when you're driving, you just have to have patience so that you can reach where you are going and deliver the cargo. It is safe. A pothole like this in the middle of the road, you hit it, the chances of you flipping are very high. And I'm sure. That driver there might have hit this pothole. But let me find out what happened. Oh, what is the yeah, yeah, yeah. The company on the other side is in control. So after we lose in control, still may have to figure out if we are going to be able to do the drainage. When I'm going to come around, I'm going to be able to do it. At night and when it rains, these potholes become even more dangerous. Many accidents are caused by such potholes. So this is the second accident we found on a stretch of two kilometers on the Lusaka Kawe Road. But let me try to find out what exactly happened on this particular uh, stretch. As for this BMW driver, he is lucky not to have flipped but things are not looking good for him. We, are, we hit in a, in a pothole. So this pothole actually is such, is very bad. Such that if you hit in it, most likely that maybe you can even overturn. I think as you may see this stretch, it is on the corner. It's very dangerous. And you can imagine this time it's, it's at night and many people are driving. And this is a road that many people are using from the Copper Belt. As you may be aware that this road is very busy. There are a lot of trucks, there are a lot of other vehicles that are, uh, that are, that are coming along this road, and even through Nakonde Road. With the rains are threatening, desperation sets in, and efforts to get help seems to be in vain. Well, apparently now, I don't think there's anything we can do, we just sleep here. And then it's a danger to our lives as well. There's nothing we can do, we sleep on the road. As you can see, it's raining. Uh, and cars cannot stop to help you because they might think you're a criminal. No, no. Uh, we are stuck. <laughs> Next to him is a Honda CRV. He too hit potholes. Mvula is a kuloka around 13 hours so. Is a yamuloka mvula so since you kuna mshemush kwenye kuna mshemush na pesa ma potu wa vivi. Dipi na diaka po. Yeah, oh, no, I'm here. I'm here. 13 hours up to now, I'm here. Luckily for him, a tow truck he caught seven hours ago has just come and he will be going home. We have some tow trucks as RITSA, but the numbers are not. Uh, uh, equating to the problem that we have at hand. Therefore, we call upon the private sector
to come on board to explore such business ventures. Many local transporters have invested in tow trucks. For this bus lying on the roadside, help has just arrived. With no time to waste, the rescue mission is on. After a few minutes, the bus is standing on its wheels and it's a successful recovery operation. For international trucks involved in accidents, it can take days or even weeks before help show up. This truck has been lying dangerously on the road for days now, compromising the safety of other motorists. We have studied the situation and slowly we, we are putting up countermeasures. If you saw this stretch, we have put some billboards deliberately to warn foreign drivers that it's an offense in Zambia to leave uh, a vehicle unattended to without proper signage because um, this is very detrimental in terms of road safety. The T3 is also narrow and when combined with potholes, the results can be catastrophic. No problem, but problem for those who are coming. As you can see, that one is flashing. He has got nowhere to pass. So, in congestion, the Apache Marengesa, parents of Panga, Swana, Ganizira, they can be some, or they can be a lot of trucks. The events of Yonela Mungat, Mamoto Kazambo, and Kalaya Ngono, so ka space in Kangon, of which are scarcely safe. Some sections of the road has completely given up, and drivers are forced to slow down, but thieves take advantage of the slow track and attack. There are a lot of thieves. They climb on our trailers and steal uh, the cargo and even the, the chains. They can cut off the belts and remove the, 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 the chains. This driver lost a considerable number of goods before police rescued him from thieves after his truck tipped over due to bad road. Time we were passing here, truck spent. So I wanted to, to make straight. We come that side. Uh, People, people, small, small, small childs and mama, everything. We come from that side, so we are attacking. We are stones. We are run away. Uh, even me and another, another boys for top, for track to load it. So uh, the problem like that. So me, yeah, I wanted to suffer. You know, the suffering driver is suffering always. Despite the economic value for this road, some parts of the T3 has not seen significant maintenance in a very long time. I must confess that uh, uh, we may not have done very well in terms of road maintenance in the last uh, uh, few years. Uh, you know, a project such as the Link Zambia 8000, this was mostly upgrading uh, of roads from, um, say, gravel roads to uh, bituminous um, standard roads. Uh, what the government is looking at is uh, can we do more maintenance um, uh, uh, and then a very limited upgrading. Uh, two things come into play. On, uh, firstly, we find that you're able to now balance between the, resource, um, uh, the resources that are available and the requirements. So uh, maintenance is relatively cheap. 
uh, but uh, it has uh, a very high impact in terms of preserving uh, preserving the, 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 the asset. Uh, but at the same time, you're spending less compared to constructing new roads and neglecting um, uh, maintenance. So we may not have done very well, but what we are seeing in terms of the policy direction is we need to do much more maintenance even as we, as we move uh, forward. For now, drivers have to endure the bad sections of the road. But the word for drivers is, don't despair, help is on the horizon. So the Lusaka and Dola one, um, we intend to give that out to contractors or investors as a PPP or on a PPP model, public-private partnerships. So far we have received a lot of interest from potential investors, potential contractors, and in fact, the last, uh, the previous administration, the PF administration, uh, had engaged in discussions on this particular road. With respect to Chingola, Chizabombo, Ekasumbalesa, that is also in bad condition. Again, we have received unsolicited bids from various uh, investors and contractors uh, to do this road up. In fact, some are talking in terms of upgrading it to dual carriageway. And we are hopeful uh, that when these discussions are concluded through the government's PPP council, this is a council of ministers uh, plus uh, senior government officials and the outsiders who are on the PPP council uh, under the chairmanship of the Minister of Finance. All these matters regarding the Rusaka Dora Dior Carriageway and of course the Chingola Chirabombe Kasumbalesa roads will be finalized. To a larger extent, the country's GDP depends on the well being of this road. Any damage to T2 and T3 affects the delivery of goods and services to most parts of the nation, ultimately affecting the economy. For now, the T3 sends an SOS. Battle for Africa's club title continues. Watch match day two of the CAF Champions League and Confederation Cup on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Topstar. Follow Zambia's best football talent and Africa's best clubs for affordable monthly 135 quarter antenna classic or 140 quarter dish smart. Catch the fierce African football rivalry as our Helal of Sudan take on our Ali of Egypt on Friday, 18th February at 18 hours on World football. Then on Sunday, 20th February at 15 hours, watch the bankers Zanako as they host Pyramids FC of Egypt in Lusaka on world football. Later at 18 hours, witness the all-powerful TP Mazembe as they travel to our Masuri of Egypt on Sports Arena. Grab yourself a topster antenna or dish decoder now. Subscribe now and enjoy Africa's best football. Topster, affordable digital TV. Thank you.